Well, welcome to another of my uh, little videos. So I'm recording this with Camtasia, which I think I've mentioned already in this discussion forum. And you can get it from Kathleen Surface for free, right from Purdue. It's a terrific piece of software. And then I'm uploading it to YouTube, all right? Um, I've had it with Cultura Media. So the goal here is I want to talk about interconnectivity in an internet class, all right? And so those of you making the switch from face-to-face -to, -face to, to internet, it's really difficult. It's not just the time involved and everything else. It's the whole philosophy. It's the whole change of, of, uh, of pedagogical uh, presentations, all right? How do you, not just how do you do it, but how do you make it work? And I think your, your biggest question, your biggest goal is how do you keep your students connected? How do you keep them connected to each other? And how do you keep them connected to yourself? This is what you do in a face-to-face -face class. Online is entirely different, okay? There's, there's no... No touch, feel, sense, smell, that kind of thing, okay? However, that said, it can still be done. And the tool in Blackboard is the discussion forum. Discussion forums are very robust. There's a lot you can do with them. Uh, you can add videos, you can add URLs, you can uh, you know, add all kinds of commentary, you can add PDF files, I've already said URLs, links, that kind of thing. They're, they're very, very flexible. So that you as an instructor <clears throat> need to decide how do you want to do them. Ultimately, I think your goal is to create interconnectivity. And you can also drive course content, and you can drive course classroom discussions. You can replicate in entirety a classroom discussion. So what I do is I create a discussion topic, all right? And every week in all my classes, um, I shouldn't say every week, sometimes I have other projects too, okay? And I don't want to load up students too much, all right? But many weeks, I have one or two discussion forums, one or two discussion topics. Each one's a separate forum, all right? And I like to have these as graded discussions. I've read plenty of literature. I don't think students do things that aren't graded, okay? They don't get the point. They don't like it. They sense it as busy work, okay? So, so that said, uh, I'm going to walk you through this in just a second. So, But you can set up a discussion, and then you can require the students to make an initial response of their own to the question or questions or tasks that you assign them, okay? And then you can require them to make a certain number of peer-to-peer -peer posts. Now, students often don't get this. They don't quite get what do you mean by classroom discussion. They know face-to-face, -face, but they don't get it online. Well, if they don't respond to peers, it's not a discussion. If they only answer the question to you, that's more like a quiz, and that's not what you're looking for, okay? You're looking for this interconnectivity. So, so uh, in my case, all right, I say they have to make one post by a certain time of the week, that responds to whatever I ask them to do, okay? And then they have to make one post to a student, okay? A peer-to-peer -peer reply. Now, that said, you have to, you know, make sure they add enough detail, that it's a real response, and they spent some time on this. So I've seen some instructors set word lengths, okay? Paragraph lengths, that kind of thing. So you, you can set it up any, you know, you can set the criteria, but you need to be very specific, and you need to keep repeating what the criteria are, all right? It's a little, it's not like a face-to-face -face class where you have the wet noodle and you can whack them, okay? You can't do that online. It's much different, okay? So uh, in my case, I have just one peer-to-peer -peer reply, but you can have more if you think that's important, uh, as long as you don't think it's busy work. Or what I do is I say, if you do more than one peer-to-peer -peer reply, you can give extra credit. And in Blackboard, it's very easy. You just, if the score is 100, you can just do 110, 120, all those points add up. Okay, let me look at my notes here. I think I... have uh, gone over. I mentioned that there, I, mine are graded. So let me see if I can uh, set one up here. All right, so here's a class I'm currently teaching. Okay, so uh, I just do this at the bottom here. So tools, okay, very simple, discussion board. So we're going to set up a discussion board at the very, very bottom. So uh, select a discussion board for, link to discussion board, pick, create new forum, all right? Okay, so here you title the forum, all right? Let's say test. Okay, and here I put I call these prompts. Okay, here's what I put. I put the prompt there. What I want the student to do. Okay, so now notice at this point you have uh, you have all these things you can do. You can add a video. You can upload a picture. You can upload a video. Mashups. That's Kaltura Media. Like I said, I'm using. Uh, uh, YouTube, I'll probably just I would probably just put the YouTube link there. YouTube delivers a link to you. Okay, so in any event, you can put uh, you can put attachments here. There's a lot you can put there. All right. So in this case, we'll just do the directions. Let's go down a little bit. Excuse me. 
Okay, you can do display things, that kind of thing if you want. Uh, if you're setting up your whole course multiple weeks in advance, you don't want them to see them all, that's fine. Okay, grade. This is very, very important. Needs to be graded, okay? So I grade on a scale of 100, all right, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you could do rubrics. You could create a rubric here, select rubric, create new rubric, create from existing rubric. Uh, I tend to uncheck this because you have two due dates. You have a date sometime in the week of your choosing where you want them to make their initial repost post, and then by the end of your work week, you want them to make the reply. So if you if you if you leave that check, you're going to get your your two your your uh, grading box filled up. Okay, so you can add a rubric. Uh, if you do, I'm just going to select a rubric here, uh, discussion rubric. Look at that. I already got a discussion rubric. There it is. Just looked it over. But here, I'll check it here. Okay. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, submit. All right. And then, uh, where'd you go? Oh, yeah. Okay. Answers yes. Okay. For some reason, the preset here, show rubric to students. No, that seems really silly to me. Okay, so I'll put yes. All right. All this is just blah, blah, blah stuff. Just ignore it. All right. Boom, submit. Okay. And then, then go to next, test. And then here, once the uh, blah, blah, blah stuff again, okay, okay, you can just do anything you want there. This is due Thursday night. Okay. You can go over this yourself. It's really intuitive. You don't need me to tell you this, okay? And of course, you want it available. You could do display after, display before, if you want, it's up to you. Okay, submit. So here it is, test, all right? This is due Thursday night. So let's see what it looks like for the student. Uh, student mode. Okay, excuse me. Test, due Thursday night. There it is, create a thread. They're gonna create a thread, okay? That's their job. So they click here, they create a thread. You might, you're gonna have to tell them to do this, all right? They create a thread. And then they title it, you, you know, my response or something. And then there's what they do, okay? So if you want them to add a PowerPoint, there's a link there. If you want them to add a picture, there, there's a picture there. If you want to just type in text, there's that there, all right? So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I have a menu item on the left of my course page that shows where all the discussions are. And let me go let me get out of there. Okay, on the left-hand side here, and I simply did that, this right here, where it's the plus sign, content error, modular error, blank, it's a tool. Discussions are tools, so I clicked on tool link, and that allowed me to put the discussion there, and now look, there is, there it is, right down there. So students can access it two ways. They can access it from whatever page you put it on, or they can access it, asset, uh, access it from the menu on the left. So bottom line, it's very, very easy to create classroom discussions. It's very, very easy to maintain interconnectedness. Now, it's up to you. Are you going to respond to every discussion? Okay, depends on the size of your class. Depends on how much time you feel you can afford to do this. All right, so the question becomes, how do you keep the students moving along, keep them motivated? Well, one cool tool is I make a video. All right, I respond to my own question okay a couple days into the discussion i respond with a video because i think that's more fun you know, it gives me it, it lets them see me and feel me okay i like these videos a lot and if nothing else you just go to youtube and make a video right of yourself talking there's nothing to it all right post that there in the discussion and then you could then i send an announcement okay announcements are also a tool in blackboard and announcements go directly to their campus email. If they're not reading the campus email, we're all licked anyhow. We've, I think we've had that discussion on the listserv. All right. So I make an announcement. Say, hey, I just posted a, a video to uh, the discussion. Uh, please take a good look at it. Uh, if you do and respond to me, I'll give you some extra credit, that kind of thing. So there, there are different tools you have to stay interconnected. And you don't have to respond to every single discussion form. Oh, grading them. Okay. Great, 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 great. It's grade center. Okay. Needs grading assignments. Da, da, da. Oh, oh, it's easier this way. Here, just just go to discussions and go down to the bottom where your where the test is, right? And then this little menu item right here, drop down menu. It says, why did it say grade? Oh, that's, I'm not using that one. That's why here it is. This one here, and it says grade. Okay, 
and there they all are all right click here grade and that and you can respond there you can say not only can you post the grade when you click on grade but there's a, a box where you can say hey this is terrific i really like what you said blah 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 or you can say you know this is a good start but there really wasn't enough content for me to understand what you really meant or for me to really feel that you understood the goals here that kind of thing so so it, there, there really are ways to create interconnectivity online all right i know it's hard but i know it's something we all want to do so hey uh, good luck if you have questions, I believe you know how to get a hold of me.